In this video, I'm going to talk about, of course, Cushion Grip. Um, they have come out with a new box. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. The, um, the old one says thermoplastic denture adhesive. And the new one says... Premium soft thermoplastic for refitting dentures. So I wanted to do a comparison to see if anything else has changed uh, besides just the box. Because, and I, I've already opened these and um, I'll be inserting pictures throughout this video so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So in the new box, just like the old box, you get your instructions, which still says denture adhesive on the bottom. You still get your key and the tube still says thermoplastic denture adhesive. So that hasn't changed. So, open the other box and some of the instructions have changed or have um, a few things added to them. Just give me y'all back just a hair. So, from everything that I can tell the ingredients, the um, on the back of the tube, it still says the exact same thing. Um, cushion grip denture adhesive, and it still says adhesive, is a soft pliable thermoplastic denture adhesive and will not harm your dentures in any way. Directions, see the insert for detailed instructions on how to reply, how to apply and remove cushion grip, denture, adhesive. Um, is it, it says, the warning is still the same. Um, cushion grip, denture, adhesive is intended for use only on non-defective dentures. Ill-fitting, broken, or irritating dentures may impair your health. Consult your dentist for periodic examinations at least every six months. Keep out of the reach of children. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, it says the same exact thing. Yeah. So, on the instructions... <laughs> now the only thing that I, well immediately I noticed right off the bat that they've changed some words they've reduced some sec some sections taken out you know a few words here and there but I mean for the most part, it is just the same. Um, on the instruction insert on in the new box, you know the first part says how to remove. That's how to remove cushion grip denture adhesive. Um, on the other, on the when you're, I'm rambling. 
when you are looking at step one through four on how to apply the cushion grip, on the new insert it says, important information, the quality needed, sorry, the quantity needed to secure dentures varies. Do not use if you have open sores or cuts in your mouth or gums, a temporary slight stinging or burning sensation like mouthwash may be experienced at first application. Cushion grip is not a glue adhesive. It works similar to a temporary soft reline by filling in the gaps and spaces between your gums and dentures to secure your fit. If you experience an allergic reaction, discontinue use immediately. Please see your dentist if your dentures do not fit properly. Cushion grip is not appropriate for ill-fitting dentures. So, that's the first thing that I noticed that, that changed, and that's just with the insert. I mean, it's, it's still staying adhesive, but, um, let's see, oh, <laughs> I'm going to continue to talk about these instructions, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw some stuff in the mix as well because I literally died watching this one video about this chick applying cushion grip. Oh man. So step one is still the same. Um, warm the cap tube in hot tap water, not boiling for five minutes. Makes it easier to apply. Um, I don't put my cap down, but my, my tube is fully submerged. So if you're not gonna fully submerge it, then you know. Teach their own. Like I said, it still comes with a key, the slotted key. Um, on step two, and this is where I'm going to talk about this other video. Um, it says the same exact thing. Turn, listen very carefully. Turn key carefully, squeezing out a ball of cushion grip. Three fourths inch in diameter. Pause this video. <laughs> go, go look how big that is. So, yeah, I, I, I was gonna do a reaction video to this chick's video, but I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to piss nobody off, so I'm not going to. I will talk about it in just a minute. Whew. Okay, the next thing, um, I noticed that was different was, it tells you to Make sure you apply it, you know, of course, to your lower denture first and then apply it to your upper denture. And at the bottom of the new insert, it says, important, first time users, if you are having any difficulty applying or removing cushion grip, please call, I'll insert the number, 1-800-227-6151 and ask for a brand ambassador. And then it also says for more information, um, you can re review the cushion grip safety data sheet on mycushiongrip.com under products page. That is pretty much it. Everything else talks about how to get it off, which soak it in, in hot water for 10 minutes and that makes it very pliable so you can get it off. Um, and then, why one application of cushion grip denture adhesive holds dentures securely and comfortably for up to four days. Y'all know me, I don't agree with the whole up to four days. My last application, I got over 40 days out of it, so, and I didn't want to change it. It was fit so good, which these are too. I mean, after, after a little while of maneuvering with cushion grip, uh, you learn how to do it. It's good to go. 
It still has helpful hints and information. Like, yeah, it's basically the same. They just have a new box. I really, really hope that they change their inserts and change the wording inside the directions um, to take out the word adhesive because it's not an adhesive. Um, so yeah. Don't forget, you can go to, um, you can go to mycushiongrip.com and use code UNSTOPPABLE to get a dollar off of your tube. Yay! So, this video. I don't know this chick from any videos. I've never seen her before. Um, I had someone send me this video. So, I just, oh my gosh. This is a kitty. Um, really? <laughs> so this was her first time doing it and she went step by step by the instructions, did the instructions to a, to a T and yeah, you know, I, I wish they would I incorporate, um, a little bit more information in their instructions because first off this cattail this chick had a huge ball of cushion grip and she was like it says three-fourths of an inch no it says three-fourths of an inch in diameter there's a big difference. Now, she did say in a lot of videos that she had seen that everyone was using small balls and maneuvering and manipulating those on their denture in order to get the, the right seal and the right fit, which is what you should do. I wish Cushion Group would put that on their instructions. But if you can see, or it says, on number two, you see that giant bubble? That's what hers looked like. It was, it was absolutely huge. And she's trying to manipulate it. And I know she had way too much because I've been there. I've done that. Um, she puts them in her mouth, pulls them back out, messes with it some more, puts them in, pulls them back out. You can't do that. If you do that with cushion grip, you're going to get very large air pockets because what happens, your denture is completely dry, right? And unless you are wetting your mouth right before, your dentures are gonna be kind of dry. So you're gonna put them in and you're, you're supposed to push back and you're supposed to push up with your thumbs and when you do that, that cushion grip is going to kind of ad adhere to your gums in order to get the impression of your gums. So if you're pushing in and then pulling them out, the cushion grip is going to lift and it's going to create air bubbles or air pockets between the part that is hitting your gums and the part that's on your denture. So you can't do that. You can't you can't put them in and take them out numerous times. It just doesn't work that way. I was, I was screaming at my phone. No, 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 don't do that. Because you, you just, you can't do that. Even if you're not watching my videos on Cushion Grip, there are a lot of videos out there on Cushion Grip. Um, in the, the Denture Before and After Support uh, group on Facebook, there's some awesome ladies that use cushion grip. You have used it way longer than I have and they can give you good advice too. You know, do your research, make sure you're doing, make sure you're following the instructions, but you can, you can always curve those instructions. You have to curve them in order to fit you. And there is a serious, serious learning curve with cushion grip. 
the first time you put it on, you're probably not gonna do it right. Just like I, I didn't do it right. Um, the very first time I put them in and let it sit for maybe 10 minutes and then took them out and had these giant air pockets and overusing it time after time, you realize what you're doing wrong. You know, if you're watching videos and everyone tells you to get tiny balls and tiny, I mean like maybe half the size of the cap, maybe, and that might even be pushing it. Um, start small. You can always add more. If you put on how much you think you need and you're pushing in, you're pushing back and you, you see you need more, pop them out. One time, pop them out, okay? Make sure that you're pushing down. Get your tail out of my, go that way. Make sure you are pushing down again on the cushion grip that has already touched your gums so that if you do have any air pockets that you're gonna press them out and when the cat is rubbing on my camera and if you have to add more make sure you blend them in very good that way you get a good seal and you're not you know you don't have too much on one side and your denture is crooked lopsided whatever um, you, you have to play with it you have to work with it and I've seen some comments on uh, the My Cushion Grip page on Facebook that it didn't stick to theirs. Um, they have uh, some type of metal connected to their denture or their partial or whatever and it just it wouldn't stick to it. So my next video I am going to do I guess you could say an experiment. I'm gonna see what cushion grip will stick to. I'm gonna do, we all, we all know what it'll stick. It'll stick to your denture if you do it right. Take what everybody is saying in their videos and try them for yourself. And it's trial and error. And the, the brand ambassadors are, they're great people. I mean, a, a few of them give really good information. Um, but yeah, and you can always go to the My Cushion Grip Facebook page and ask questions. You can direct message them. Like, they will help you. They will hook you up. They will get you the help that you need. So, but yeah, I'm going to, uh, plastic and metal and wood and show what it, what happens if, if you pull your denture out and it is shriveled up because the, the cushion grip is shriveled up, I'm going to show you what you're doing wrong. So, I know kind of a boring video, but I just wanted to give some, some informative information because I know the, um, the chick that I was talking about earlier in her video, you know, she got the old box, so it did say denture adhesive on it, but yeah. So, um... I do have some big news coming up and I will let y'all know about that when the time is right. Until then, be unstoppable in everything you do. Don't let anyone hold you back. You define your future. Rock your beautiful smiles. I love you guys. Bye.